rejuvenation of India. Why we need that? Do we really need a country of 125 crores people to be rejuvenated? This question is there in everybody's mind. Why we need that? We need because we lost our energy somewhere in between these 67 years. Maybe for about 30 years, three decades, we went out of the track. The railway train was moving on the track, but sometime there was derailment. And every derailment caused great damages to all of us. A damage that cannot be understood by the bygone era definitely can be understood by the present to take us into a glorious future. You understand what I am telling? The bygone era, the bygone era means I talk from the metaphor of my elders. But I am not talking about my ancestors. Ancestors have done no mistake. The mistake was committed somewhere between you and us. There were some mistake. What was that mistake? How do you look at this thing? If you go deep into this scenario, you will discover something phenomenal, something, something where you have to find your product for research and development. You set an objective for yourself. I stand here today to let you know that we can shake this world. We have the capacity. What we need? We need to move ourselves. How do we move ourselves? Unless we belong to something which we have forgotten to live with it. We remember everything in the name of globalization. But we do not remember that we belong to this country. So what is more important in today is, please understand, the Indian needs to get self-started. They need to understand that nobody will come from somewhere and give them something and teach them something. It is you and your attitude. And you alone is responsible to make this nation great. No one else is. The attitude should be, I. I can do it. Whatever be the field, let it be cricket. Let it be tennis. Let it be badminton. Let it be remote sensing. Let it be Mangalyan. You, you take any subject, let it be cooking. We are the best in the world. That attitude has to develop in each one of us. You are supported very well by something called software. Because you are the people who are connected with that subject. Whenever I come to MC and BCA student today, I, I feel that somewhere you find you were left alone in last couple of years. This left alone, why it came? Did anybody understood that why suddenly the lot of takeoffs have dropped? Why now MCA needs to be supported with management courses? Why? The reason is very simple that, you know, when the lamb, one moves, all the lamb moves. The greatest problem is, because some of us have got into MCA 10 years back, and he is in a good position in USA, that became a trend center, so all the lamb started moving in that direction. Then suddenly they find the IT business collapsed, then everything collapsed. Where are we? Oh, in my days there was a simple thing. You don't have to get into the engineering means, you are not going to get good dowry. <laughs> so what we used to do is, koi na koi class engineering mein hume dal do. Ghusa do kahi na kahi pe. Kuch bhi karke ghusa do. Donations se ghusa do. Nahi to jara sa recommendation se ghusa do. Jara papa ji kuch to karo. Having our mind, our, our head on our own body, we started thinking from other's brain. We stopped using our own mind. We started believing that because somebody has gone that way, that must be the right. Somebody has gone this way, this must be the right. The whole confusion that entered into the academics of India was only ki bhai, jarasa lift kara de. <laughs> huh? Jarasa lift kara de. See, the positive outlook of Adran Sami was, are yaar dollar nahi to pond chalega. He was always talking at the higher denomination. But we were talking at the lower denomination. We misunderstood that head is given to you separately. To think for yourself. You are not going to think for somebody and somebody cannot think for you better. Some of you may be liking the great uh, matinee idol Rajkumar. 
somebody can be liking Dilip Kumar, somebody can be liking Hrithik Roshan, and somebody can be liking PK. <laughs> it is the taste that matters. It is the taste that matters. It is the thinking within you that matters. The education is a supporting system. It is not the only thing that comes from the academics. Rightly, one great Indian saint has said, I am not quoting his name, I know name you will catch. He said that books can provide the information of the experience of the author. What he understood from his metaphor, that is what he is delivering. You believe it, the fellow who wants to do something will never talk. You agree with me? Yes, the man who performs his bad speaks. He goes to the ground and takes the team apart. So please understand that it is your head that can rejuvenate you. I agree the highest population of youth is in this country. But I do not agree that this is a young country. I have started differing. I started thinking different because my head is speaking. I am not borrowing somebody's idea. If you don't borrow your idea, how do you interpret? You know, Hamare Jaise Putte, 20 crore. 20 crores are the one who can still walk faster than the young guy. We are very young. I am 16 only because my age is 61. Opposite is 16. <laughs> So what exactly is the mindset is, India is a country has the largest population of youth, agreed. But they have a great advantage because they have 20 crores of hands-on experience to support them. You agree with me? Yes. This country needs the combination of hands-on experience as well as the youth to drive themselves forward. You agree? Yes. So this is how you have to think of every issue that comes in front of you instead of going to Google. Agree, use Google. How much you will use in Google? Please understand all information given in Google is not 100% correct. If that would have been there, then Google would have given you how to solve an electricity problem in the country. <laughs> Can it provide? Our government would have taken from that. Because what has to be informed, you are informed. But the information has to be interpreted, understood, and then executed. The information itself is not sufficient when it comes towards you. You have to gather as they come to you, from A, from B, from C, from the D. Let every country give you information. But ultimately, keep all the information on the table and then start looking at it, that how this information has to be interpreted. For that interpretation, you need the principal, you need the professor, you need the lecturer, hands-on experience you need. A teaching staff provides you the hands-on experience.